want to talk a bit more about hell. I've been thinking about how we could compare hell to going to prison. And it seems to me we have prisons in society for several reasons. The first one is as a deterrent. We know if we break, if we break the law, we'll go to prison. So we don't break the law. Well, most of us don't. So that's a reasonable deterrent. Of course, another reason is we send people to prison so that they don't carry on breaking the law. Uh, so if we think they're going to, uh, you know, we take them out of society, put them in a safe place, they're not going to kill somebody else or abuse them or steal things. Um, another thing we hope might happen is that people in prison may be rehabilitated. They may learn a new skill or learn, just grow up and be better citizens when they come out. And of course society needs to see justice. So those of us who've been harmed, you know, maybe something's been stolen from us, seeing the perpetrator go to prison makes us feel better about it. Um, and of course there may be just one other uh, reason why we like to punish people and that's simply because we're cruel and nasty people ourselves. So it seems to me those are five reasons why we have prisons or other sorts of uh, judicial punishments. So how does that stack up against hell? Well, deterrent. Yes, I think we can see hell as a deterrent. We don't want to sin against God because we don't want to burn in hell for eternity. The problem I have with the deterrent argument is it seems completely out of proportion. I mean, my little sins, you know, being angry with my wife or stealing a bar of chocolate when I was 11, I don't know why I should be uh, in hell, burning, being tortured forever and ever. Oh, that just sounds completely, utterly out of proportion. Well, so how about prevention? Does sending me to hell prevent me doing any more bad things? Well, well no, of course it doesn't, because I'm in hell for eternity. Uh, that's finished. Rehabilitation? No, it doesn't rehabilitate me uh, because I'm just stuck there. I got, I'm never going to go back to society. And for other people to see justice? Ooh, there's so many. Th I've come across some nasty things recently with um, theists saying, oh, it'll be nice to see you uh, uh, sinful atheists in hell. We'll be laughing at you. Ooh, and very nasty thought, I think. And actually that leads straight into the last thing. It seems to me that to want to see somebody being tortured in agony for eternity could only come out of the mind of a really cruel and horrible person. So is God a really cruel and horrible and nasty person? If so, he created hell. If not, why is hell there? Or perhaps it isn't, of course. The thing that you're liable to read in the Bible, it ain't necessarily.